Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for January 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Pisces, let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate and how, because that's how I keep up with y'all. See the comments, Pisces, as well as if you enjoy this vibe for today, darling. All right, Pisces, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, darling. All right, uh, Pisces, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum what's going down for your life in specific honey as well as be looking for the code word that pops up somewhere in this tarot video uh darling to write down in the comments below so that way you get entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me pisces all right so let's just jump right into your tarot reading here today pisces let's see what it is that you're dealing with what is going on honey all right what is the tea uh for you right now pisces what's going on for y'all one last bridge shuffle here and then we started this out oh honey we starting out with this tower energy daily what are y'all dealing with currently right now pisces are y'all cutting somebody off honey knight of wands coming in here yes y'all are yes y'all are I'm right now pisces y'all are cutting somebody out honey the world energy coming in the final major arcana the closure of cycles to begin new cycles here pisces Ugh. i'm right now pisces y'all are closing somebody off back of the deck energy is the queen of swords Ooh, ooh who pissed pisces off honey who pissed y'all off pisces who disrespected y'all's energy honey all right definitely i feel as if with this court card coming in here pisces y'all are at this place the way you're just like uh -uh. You're like you you too wishy-washy honey some of you guys you feel as if this energy came in here where they were taking advantage of your emotions here because here's the thing the knight of wands in my opinion comes in of a place where it's like they're in when it feels good to them but then they're out when they don't feel like uh in being involved in the energies anymore i mean that's how i personally see it tower energy here that's where you are just cutting off at it queen of swords and being in that back of the deck that lets me know that you are the one in control of this you are the one where you're just like all right honey cycles closing off you 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 done you ain't dealing with this anymore all right y'all are fed up uh with this in situ uh, with this situation entirely here pisces i don't blame you here all right when you have a knight of wands energy when the, this is an individual who is coming at this from an imbalanced place here honey it never feels good it's always a situation where it's just like you know they're available when they want to like uh connect with you right then it feels like it's everything and then some that you would ever want in a connection right but then when they are disinterested they just go completely completely ghost right so you probably at this current point in time well not anymore honey because i feel like a lot of you guys are cutting this out already um you feel like you were being breadcrumbed for quite some time here and the reality is here, Pisces, when a Knight of Wands, a Knight of Wands, this is not an energy that settles. This is an energy that just likes to play the field and just do what have you here, Pisces. So many of you guys are making the right choice here, Pisces, and cutting out of this energy entirely, darling, all right? This is an energy who just takes you for granted. You know, not to say the Knight of Wands, like, they don't care about you on some level. It's just they care about their own ex emotional experiences more than anyone else's. They don't, they don't think about how like what it is that they're putting you through pisces they just think about what's good for them and what makes them feel good right everyone's a little bit uh just very disposable to them you might consider them a little bit of a narcissist as well i don't personally like throwing the word around because i feel like it's personally overused quite often here but they definitely would probably exude a little bit of a narcissistic trait here um where they just are thinking about themselves and not anyone else really clarifying the tower energy here we have the judgment energy here Ooh, yes honey you laid down that karma honey you laid down that karma honey all right and this is on top of the tower energy you have here the ten of wands here on that knight of wands so they were just doing nothing anymore at this point in time but starting to just put more and more baggage on you it's like the more that you connected with them pisces the more often that this knight of wands started um taking like it started just being in this place where it no longer was feeling good to you anymore it was just like at one point it started out feeling lovely but now it's just like as you connect with them it's just like eh, you know you're not even getting any type anything from it anymore and so you're choosing to walk away honey you're all right eight of cups energy here 
you're choosing to walk away here pisces all right closing out that cycle with that world energy all right so the judgment card clarifying the tower energy here darling all right i want you to know pisces that this wasn't your fault is the main message girl can i hold this card honey uh that's the main message that's trying to come in here pisces like this isn't your fault here all right i feel like this connection here was brought forward in your life for i mean whatever purpose right some of you pisces may not be in the state of mind right now to hear about being like oh yeah this is here to teach you something honey like you know learn more about yourself honey no like i feel like this is really a connection here that was destined to have an expiration date all right this there's always been this expiration date uh when it comes to this connection but some of you guys probably try to like extend that expiration date you're just like oh like i can eat this it's only a few days old a few weeks old honey well, you tried to extend it right some of you probably did huh pisces um you have this knight of wands cl being clarified by that ten of wands again i mean pretty straightforward here pisces right this is all that they're providing at this point in time just more baggage more things for you to be, just be dealing with and i feel like for many of you guys you just can't deal with it anymore it's like for you you're just like hey like honey it's like no hard feelings but it's just like you got your own baggage to be taken care of you can't be taking care of their baggage and so you know eight of cups clarifying that world energy you're cutting out this cycle you're finally just walking away from this because you're just like this just isn't sustainable to you anymore this doesn't have you feeling good anymore here pisces right and then you know with the back of the deck being that queen of swords honey right you're putting up those boundaries darling you're cutting away at the fat you're cutting away at things that no longer serve you and then you have the queen of wands um over here so what i want to be telling you here pisces is like just because girl again i can't hold these cards right now got these big old man hands honey there's like they're dropping all over um don't give up on love here pisces all right that's really what i want to be telling you uh whether this is romantic or just friendships or whatever do not allow this situation here pisces to discourage you for your future all right don't allow what's happened here to discourage you in your future because again as i said this is definitely always has had an expiration date and some of you guys, you guys again y'all not ready to hear it right now but there's definitely this situation here is here to teach you something here it was never meant to be your forever you have a different forever person uh coming in for you but it wasn't that ever darling all right so keep your heart open still all right don't be too cynical darling all right i always chastise people uh whenever they are coming at the queen of swords from an imbalanced place queen of swords in a balanced place fabulous right that's good boundaries honey that's all that goodness right queen of swords when it's not balanced you know you become too much of a cynic uh become too cynical rather where you just convince yourselves like oh all everyone's the same just because of this one crappy person over here you just assume everyone else is that way and girl that's not reality right giving me very much so being like oh i never i'm never going to be trusting a scorpio again because all scorpios are the same or i'm not going to talk all men all women are the same girl let's not make no those generalizations darling right let's just accept for the situation for what it is that this person just wasn't an energetic match you know if everyone was the same then by logic wouldn't that mean you're the same as that person here all right all right i'm gonna be pissing some of y'all off pisces huh that's all right i'm known to be doing that honey y'all forgive me anyways right pisces let's get into your second row now darling let's see what else is happening for y'all honey what else is going down for my pisces here we have here the four of cups stepping forward to you darling all right darling all right pisces we also have this double energy pisces pisces and then we got that five of cups honey all right so i already already i i already touched on this i don't know why i can't speak right now with y'all pisces you just got me feeling so sh nervous and shy my goodness um eight of swords energy in the back of the deck here so what i want to be telling you pisces is that yeah like don't allow this past previous uh past situation impact anything coming forward towards you all right i feel like this situation for many of you guys would make you a cynic i'm gonna be honest here all right but the fact of the matter is your spiritual team is letting you know to shift your vision a little bit right you look at the four of cups they're holding a cup in front of you but you're being closed off all right because you're telling yourself you're convincing yourself the cup that spirit's offering to you here is just another devil there yeah. and that's just not reality here pisces all right maybe you're not ready to talk to other people maybe you're not ready to go after different jobs after that last crappy job or what have you darling but at some point in time you know you have to take your vision off of this over here that happened all you know let bygones be got bygones over here darling and then you shift your vision shift your view to these cups over here rather than 
the spilt uh, wine over here, Pisces, all right? So let's start clarifying this row here. See what else we can be getting with this. I'm going to do a bridge shuffle here, Pisces, and then we'll get into this, darling. <sighs> clarifying your four of cups energy is the three of pentacles coming in here. So I already even saying that this other, this new energy trying to be presented to you, Pisces, is already around you. Can I just say that, Pisces? Is that fair to say? That's fair to say. This is already around you. Eight of swords clarifying that devil energy here. But you're stopping yourself, Pisces. Ooh, honey, I'm going to fight some of y'all, Pisces. My gosh. And then you have these seven of cups here. Clarifying your five of cups here. Back of the deck energy is the queen of cups here. Queen of cups by definition refers to just like good people around you in your circle, circle currently. You just have to be willing to open up your heart to them a little bit more, Pisces, all right? So, all right, Pisces. Again, I'm going to be getting on you this reading, honey, all right? I'm going to be getting on you, Pisces. Seven or... Uh, seven uh four cups clarified by the three of pentacles here this is why i feel like you're already, they're already around you that uh, that your spiritual team is trying to present to you pisces uh here there's someone already around you on some level some of y'all it's in the workplace some of you it's through like a friend of a friend here uh in some way they're, they're already around you it may not be someone that's normally your type right is something you want to be saying because three of pentacles is an energy where it's like very all three people are very different from one another but the fact of the matter is here like what's stopping you is you're perceiving that every new energy now as the devil which just isn't that's not fabulous darling that's not fabulous here that's what's going to be keeping you back is by maintaining in those generalizations pisces so really be watching out for that clarifying your five of cups is the seven of cups here and the situation about this is pisces it's like you're looking at all these other options here but you're not wanting to admit yourself about the one option that would actually be good for you pisces and so then then you have to just ask yourself the question and be like, all right, like, what is it that you're wanting? All right. What is it that you're wanting? You're asking your spiritual team, you're asking the universe to provide to you love, to provide to you friendships and all that. But when they provide it to you, you're just like, hmm, you know, it's like, are you sure that's the one, honey? Like, maybe I should look somewhere else. And you're like, are you sure? It's like, come on now, Pisces. All right. I say it with love, darling. I say it with love. Let's get into your third and final row here, uh, Pisces. Let's see what you don't see coming towards you. I mean, besides that, what we just talked about, darling, and what you need to be watching out for. Let's see here. J Random, but did y'all hear about Betty White passing away? Probably most of you did. It's unfortunate, right? Uh, mm -mm. What a sad thing. Were any of you guys a fan of like the Golden Girls or anything like that, Pisces? I personally was. I I have like I used to have the gold edition to all their DVDs. Um. Anyways, back to the reading. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here. And then we got the Nine of Pentacles coming in. And then finally, Pisces, we got the Four of Swords coming in here. Back of the deck energy is the Nine of Cups, uh, Pisces. So what you don't see coming uh, for you, I feel like actually what's going to be going down here, for many of you guys, this person may not be immediately around, actually, so I take it back from beforehand, but how they show up in your life is through some other opportunity. Like some of you guys might be receiving like a job opportunity or a job offer in some way, or just something to make more money in a way, maybe a side project and what have you, uh, Pisces. And I feel like that's how you end up meeting them. You know, your spiritual team sets you up with this person here but the only way they can make your path cross with them pisces is by bringing forth an opportunity for like work or like a project of some sort or competition like something's trying to come present in your life here pisces and that's why you might be keeping your arms crossed and be like eh, i don't want to work a job right now i don't want to do i don't have time for this or that or whatever that's probably what's going down here pisces all right and that's probably what's going down here Let's clarify this final row here, Pisces. See what else we can be fleshing out with this. <clears throat> we're going to do one more bridge shuffle here, and then we're good to go, darling. All right, we're good to go. <sighs> All right.
right so we have the ace of wands coming in here on the eight of pentacles all right pisces i really want to be telling you right now to be taking forth any type of opportunity that presents itself you know it's like it's very much so a situation where your friends are just like hey pisces you want to go out and you're just like you're just like eh, no i don't feel like getting ready and you stay inside because it's comfortable no doubt you need to go out because that's how you get to this new energy here queen of wands on that nine of pentacles here for others of you you need to follow through with your passion all right you need to follow through with a passion of some sort all right clarifying the four of swords is the chariot energy here cancer energy all right and then back of the deck is the justice energy libra energy all right pisces and so really what's going down for you guys right now you know ace of wands with the eight of pentacles here all right so right off the bat what i want to be telling you guys here is like something's going to be catching your eye and you have to be not be too lazy about accepting it here pisces all right don't be too lazy about it don't just like be like eh, no it'll come another time no there's a reason why certain things are being presented in your life right now pisces and coming all right because your spiritual team is trying to get your path to cross with other energies with other paths all right queen of wands with the nine of pentacles don't be afraid of going out of your comfort zone all right leaving the nest is what the is really the epitome of the queen of wands here pisces all right so leave the house darling leave the house you know pull down the blackout curtains and leave the house don't stay in your room that's where you know get some get some vitamin d darling all right get some vitamin d you have the chariot energy with the four swords so you could fast pace this healing process through this all right pisces because i feel as if if you don't get yourself out of the house if you don't take people up on um, the opportunities that your spiritual team is trying to present to you darling you might end up in a funk for a hot biscuit darling all right i ain't gonna sugarcoat it all right you know i haven't been sugarcoating it this entire time i've been on y'all this entire time pisces right um y'all need to leave the house y'all need to leave the house don't allow that situation that happened that you closed off um stop you from living your life essentially here pisces all right darling you have the penguin energy coming in here the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing all right funny how we talked about the blackout currents and then we pull this card here all right pisces don't get into too down in the muck darling easier said than done because emotions are fickle things here but um you know have an exit plan right now have an exit plan because things are trying like you have so much working around you right now trying to bring things to a closure yeah the waxing moon coming in energy is gaining momentum i love it when the uh, oracle cards really amplify everything that it is that i already was saying honey all right i love it when i'm good at my job okay um so pisces that's the tarot reading that i have for you darling all right i love you guys so much and i'm sorry that y'all went through that situation darling but things are trying to get better for you darling all right pisces so stay open you know if you enjoyed this tarot reading today let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe pisces um you know as well if you want to book a private personal reading with me my website's linked down below simply velcro dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all just simply velka same as here darling and uh yeah pisces i'll be connecting with y'all sometime in the near future all right i love you guys so much take care pisces